Hey, what's going on guys? Storm1092 here bringing you another SOCOM related video. Um, this one is going to be about what should I do with SOCOM 4. Uh, it's really the only game that I really haven't posted much on my channel about. The only SOCOM game that is. Um, I did some co-op gameplay if I remember correctly. It's been so long since I've even looked at the game. Um, I actually had intentions of it about six months ago to do the mission walkthrough. Well, I recorded the first two missions and the recording was junk. It didn't even look good. It didn't work good. I don't know what was going on. Um, but I never went back and redid it. So I was actually going to ask you guys, like, should I even bother with the game or would you even watch it? Anything like that. Um, to me, it was like the online multiplayer. I didn't really record any of that because I wasn't really into it. I wasn't good at it. It wasn't that great of a multiplayer experience due to it was practically nothing but respawn. Um, but the, the campaign had its moments. It's very linear. The I guess the squad controls were interesting. The AI worked pretty good. Um, no urban environments, which is I was kind of disappointed in. Uh, mostly jungle environments. And I still want to know where the U.S. Navy SEALs are in this game. Because they're actually, what, special forces, they say. Um, but let me know, comments below, like, what I should do with this game. If anything, just leave it alone. Don't play it. Destroy it. I don't know. Um, I mean, I wanted the game to be so good. But then they tried to, you know, pretty much Call of duty eyes it. <laughs> it's a new word for me. Um, the, you know, the, the two... The two primary weapons just ruined it. Secondary. It just didn't feel like Ahsoka. But anyways, let me know what you think about the game below. I want to know if I, sh I should even bother with it. If people would watch it, let me know if you'll watch Ahsoka for playthrough.